Hi, welcome to this example on the commutative distribution function big F of x. Now in this example, what I've got is a continuous random variable x has probability density function small f of x defined by little f of x equals a quarter when x is greater than or equal to zero but less than one and it equals x cubed divided by 5 when x is greater than or equal to 1 but less than or equal to 2 and 0 otherwise and what we've got to do is find the commutative distribution function big F of x. Now before we start what I'd like to do I always think it's advisable is to try and sketch the graph of the probability density function F of x. Well to save time I've pre-drawn it here for you let me just explain, run through it for you. Over the interval 0 to 1, x is always equal to a quarter, so we have a horizontal line going from 0 to 1. And then over the interval 1 to 2, we've got f of x equaling x cubed divided by 5. And x cubed divided by 5, if it was not restricted to 1 to 2, would be a cubic graph looking something like this. All right? So I'm just picking up that graph in the interval then from 1 to 2. And when you put 1 through, you get 1 fifth, just slightly below the quarter. I haven't got much room to put that in, so I've just left it off. And when you put 2 through, you get 2 cubed, which is 8, divided by 5, 8 fifths, which I've got up here, 8 fifths. All right? It's not drawn to scale, but just to give you an idea of what the probability density function would look like. And also, outside the range for x from 0 to 2, we've got that f of x equals 0 otherwise. So I've drawn that here and here. OK, so let's start with finding this commutative distribution function, big F of x. Well, what I'm going to do is look at the interval, first of all, for x between 0 and 1. We know that f of x, which gives the probability of being less than a, or equal to a particular value of x, when x is below 0, okay, it's the probability is always going to be equal to 0. So f of x would always equal 0 when x is less than this 0. But let's look into this interval here. Let's take a value of x. Okay, let's take that value of x in there, and f of x would be the probability of being less than or equal to this value of x, which is given by this area. So we'll put up here for x in the interval greater than or equal to 0, but less than 1. We need this area here. We can either do it by integration because f of x is always equal to the integral of f of x between the lower limit, which would be naught, to the upper limit here, x. But this is so basic, so straightforward, it's a nice geometrical shape, a rectangle. Might as well just say that the area is going to be one quarter, that's the height, times this distance x, one quarter x. That would save us doing the integration. So f of x would equal a quarter x. All right. Now we're going to go on to this next section here. Now this is the tricky part, the bit that I often find students uh, bodge up. Okay, so we're now going to move x to a point in this interval. And what we're looking for when we talk about f of x, we're looking for all of this area through here. Okay? All of that area up to the point x, which gives the probability of being less than or equal to that value of x. So let's start by just putting that interval up here for x greater than or equal to 1 but less than or equal to 2. Then f of x is going to equal, well, how are we going to do it? Well, it's going to equal all of this area here, okay, 
plus the area under the curve. Let's take the area under the curve first of all. That's going to be equal to the integral from 1 to x of f of x. f of x over that stretch is x cubed divided by 5. So we've got x cubed divided by 5. And that's integrated with respect to x. But that's only going to be that area in there, okay, under the curve. We need to add on this area. And this is the bit that a lot of students, I find, tend to forget. And so this area, the area under that horizontal line, is going to be a quarter times 1. It's going to be a quarter. So make sure you put that plus quarter on the end there. All right? Okay, the rest should be fairly straightforward now. All we've got to do is just integrate this. Integrating this, this will be x to the 4 over 20. So I'll bring 1 20th out the front and just put the x to the 4 in there. The limits are from 1 to x, and then you've got plus a quarter. And if we work that out, what we get is 1 20th of x to the power 4, because we put the x in first of all, x to the power 4 minus 1 to the power 4, minus 1 in other words. And then we've got that plus a quarter. Now, I need to simplify that, and so we'll just put f of x equals, so what have we got? We've got 1 20th of, now, x to the 4, and then we have, if I was to expand this bracket, I get minus 1 20th, and then plus a quarter, that's 5 20ths. 5 20ths take 1 20ths is 4 20ths, so I can just write plus 4 in there. There you go. So that's f of x now over that interval from 1 to 2. Now I should be in a position to put all of this together now and finally quote what f of x is as a distribution over all of this range. Now, when x is less than 0, okay, when x is less than 0, f of x is going to equal 0. So we'll just put that there for x less than or equal to 0. When we look at the interval 0 to 1, we see that it is quarter x. So we can put that in as a quarter x. That's for x being greater than or equal to 0, but less than 1. Now over the next interval, when x is between 1 to 2, all right, what we found out is it was this function. So that becomes 1 20th of x to the 4 plus 4, all right, when x is greater than or equal to 1, but less than or equal to 2. And finally, if you have values of x more than 2, the probability of being less than any value of x that is more than 2 is guaranteed to be 1. So pop that in there as 1 for values of x greater than or equal to 2. And what we normally do is put this in a big brace, something like that, okay? And that defines our commutative distribution function, capital F of X. Okay, so hope you've been able to follow that. And uh, as I say, be careful when you've got an extra function in your PDF. Make sure you always add this little extra bit on. Okay?